Welcome inside Kauffman Stadium, interleague baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Kansas City Royals. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to go and towing the slab here, Chris Bubich. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Out there to center, Taylor, reaching back towards the wall. One up, one down. Let's take a look at our lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Ha Sung Kim. Tops on the team in batting average, Boog. A guy who's showing off some excellent bat to ball ability when he digs into the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on. But it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. Here comes a pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. Two up, two down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's that about the process. The he did everything right, right, right there. Nothing to show for Maybe. it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Manny Machado at the plate and takes high there. The wind of the pitch. Hey. On the ground to third. Oh, he gloves it, fires to first. On the money, nice play. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Bottom of the first, and today's starting pitcher, Joe Musgrove. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 go, on the year. It Royals. seems that they have a hard the time hitter. picking up his release okay. point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that one almost got him. Yeah. 
Kicks and deals. And that skips in the dirt. And down on strikes. Now one away. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Pitch misses inside. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. And a swing and a miss. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep them off balance. That's the goal. Next pitch misses. Two and two. Righty to the plate. On the ground to first. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Bobby Witt Jr. with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. Falling behind two and one. And a pitch. He's going, he's First going. offering. Ball Runner three. goes. Ball misses. Oh, save! Chris, his wheels with a difference maker on that play just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. Man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The pitch. There's the swing in a miss. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Three and two now. And that one fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a 3 2. Fouled off again. And it remains 3 and 2. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Batting four. The second baseman. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. First pitch, not close. And the 1 0. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. 2 0. Out towards left center. 
And that's a base hit. Here comes Witt around third. He will score, and the Royals have the lead. one nothing. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. Good defender. Nice He's fix. been inconsistent no offensively. Michael this a. one smashed Taylor. down the right field line. And it goes just foul. One out. Runners at first and second. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. But well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here in Kansas City, Brandon Drury to the plate. Leading off for the Padres, the designated hitter, Brandon and a pitch. Ball nope. one, no strikes. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. And a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. And that's ball four. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Josh Bell, the next up for the Padres. The switch hitter batting right. Started after it, appeal to first. And yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Kenny Jansen. And the 0 1. Nobody out, runner at first. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Pitch. Got him looking. And that's the first out. Man, just backdoored him with the breaking ball right there. And I'll tell you what, as a hitter, it looks like it's a mile away. So you can give up on it, and then it just hooks around that outside corner. Tell you what, if a pitcher can make a pitch like that, you pretty much just have to tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout. Will Myers now at the plate. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Next offering is down low. And yeah, that's ball two. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. And now the lefty slapped foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That is, that is. Two that is on, one out. out. Stepping in, Jake Cronenworth. And 
That's in there for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Next offering is in for a strike. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next offering misses. Now one and two. That one drifts inside. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Hard hit, base hit. Around third. The run scores. Here comes a second. He will score and they take the lead. It's two to one. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now it's Austin Nola. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The pitch. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Here comes Cronenworth around third. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. I'll tell you. And it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Next for the Padres, Jose Azokar. First offering misses the mark. Next pitch downstairs, two and oh. At the belt and fires. Still only one out here in the inning. In the air, center field. Taylor on the move. He's got it. And there's two away. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Pos Young Kim. Back to the top of the lineup. Up now, the Padre leadoff man, Ha Sung Kim. Hammered down the right side, but foul. <laughs> Yo one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Kicks and fires. Popped up. And that is that. Down to the bottom of the second. It's the Padres three and the Royals one. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Nick Prado. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The 1 0. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Whips it to first on the run, but he beats it out. The leadoff man is on with an infield single. Nick Prado with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, 
can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And here is Brent Rooker. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And the 1 0. And that's him for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. The pitch stays alive. Two two now. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper in the here. middle of the infield. The right took it back where it came Ooh. from. There's just no one there to knock it down. Water. You can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Drew Waters steps in for the Royals. Looking for his first big league hit right here. In there, and it's 0-1. And, first and second here, no outs. Next offering upstairs. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. A one one line drive puts it away for the out. Batting none, the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. there for strike one really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count he's going to have to continue finish off this hitter that one pushed foul swing and a miss and he struck him out now two out. Really good now hard back. bite to that breaking that's ball for the strikeout hitter. right there. I mean, he was able to bury it down below the zone, and that's throwing the pitch with conviction. Good thing for the pitcher, he's not going to miss in the zone, and that's where you get hurt. Excellent execution with two strikes. That could be a big weapon for him in this start. Now here is MJ Melendez. Two outs. Gets the outside corner with that one. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Royals strand a pair, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. The left fielder, number 10, Jerickson Profar. Bubich back to work. And first offering is fouled off. 
He needs a quick one two three this time around last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing is just perfect. Got a great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. First offering, and it just misses. Runner at first with no outs here. That one missed. Well, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. And he deals. And there's the strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Machado is gone. There's one away. Next is the designated hitter, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Close play, but in there. Runner leads away at second. And now two and one. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss as he was late. Runner at second here, one gone. And down on strikes he goes. And the Padres waste a chance. So you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in now scoring bat. position in the two strikes. Three. Just put the ball yeah. in place somewhere, yeah. and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. Caught looking his first time up. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. And they're up by three. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Will Myers. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next pitch, not close, up high. And here it comes. Good eye right there. Kicks and deals. And there's a the ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And now the lefty 
In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one's deep. Pulls it in on the warning track. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-1. As we go to the last of the third. So up now for Kansas Leading City, up, Bobby Witt Jr. The third baseman, Bobby Witt And the pitch. Junior. A little bit low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 1-0. And a good eye there. The wind to kick the 2-0. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Three zero down. There's the strike. Here comes a pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And the righty deals. And he hits a ground ball right side. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just the rolled ball. over it. Got the ground the ball. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Right hander kicks deals. And that's outside. 2 0. On the ground, out to short. Ken with the throw to first. And they get Perez for the out. The batter number 19, second baseman. Michael. So here's the cleanup hitter, Michael Massey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The 1 1. On the ground, right side. Can't glove it cleanly, but in time. Nice job to stay with it to end the inning. Royals go down 1 2 3, and they trail it 4 1. Out of the fourth, now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Leading off for the Padres, the second baseman. Jake. And a pitch. Jack swing. Went around. That's strike one. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Taylor coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. The batter, the catcher, Austin Nola. Now at the plate, Austin Nola. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Can't get their base hit. Around first, digging for two. Around second now, going for three. Lopez, relay to third. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. So one gone with a runner at third. Stepping in for San Diego, Jose Azokar. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And 
misses inside. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Carlos Hernandez preparing to come on if needed. Dozier getting cranked up as well. One away with a runner at third. That one ripped left field. The run scores from third. It's 5 1. And it's off the wall. He pulls into second. A run comes in on the play. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at bat he's never going to forget. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. And that's in there for strike one. One out and a runner at second. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And the pitch. Hey. Strike two. And a pitch. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Out. Two away now after the drop third strike. The left fielder, number 10, Jurickson Profar. Now batting Jurickson Profar. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Lays out. He's got it. The throw. Nicely done for the out. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. Leading and leading off the two. bottom of the fourth, Michael the A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. The pitch. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. And the right-hander deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And that one hops the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. So, man aboard. Next is the speedy first baseman, the Nick Prado. The first baseman, Nick. First pitch, and he just misses. Left-hand hitter waits and delivers outside. Runner at second, nobody out. Hey. 
The next good. offering misses, and it's 3-0. There's a strike three and one. And the right handers three one and ball four two aboard. Boom. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats. Oh that's a good question. Now um, left field. I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me yes I think I could draw a walk. Rooker batting for the second time and that's strike one. Oh one down. That's down one and in. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has it calls it in and there's he one away. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Now batting, right fielder, Drew Waters. Drew Waters steps in for the Royals. He's 0 for 1. In there, and it's 0 and 1. All ones that count. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. One ball, one strike. Now fly ball to right center. Dives, can't get it. It's a base hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Drew Water with his first eight. major league Good hit. Stop. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So digging in, Nicky Lopez. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Base is loaded, one away. To first, might be two. Tying run at the plate. Base hit, one run is in. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. Back-to-back -back singles, to me, it's just a really controlled ballot swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. The batter, number one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. MJ. One out, base is full. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Field, pretty well struck and it's off the wall but foul that one ran inside almost got him straightened him up a little bit good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat on the ground right side 
Bell. Toss to second. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 5-2. Carlos Hernandez on the pitch out of the pen here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and we need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. So digging in now for San Diego, Manny Machado. The pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Righty to the plate. I got two on the count. And another ball. Right handed reliever. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. The punch out there and one out now. So you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. So here's the Padres DH, Brandon Drury. In there for strike one. Center field. Massey settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, Up hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But baseman. he stayed focused and no. made a nice catch right yeah. there. Here's Josh Bell. Come on, Royals. Let's go. First pitch just misses. And the 1 0. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So, right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. And that gets down into the gap. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. And that's a two out double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Now Didn't that. get enough air under to drive it out of here, but really? you'll take that swing oh. and that result every time. And it scores position with two away. And now the right fielder, Will Myers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. At the belt and fires. That's in there. And a count even at one. Kicks and fires. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. One and two now. Rip to third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Bell headed for the plate. He'll score. It's 6-2.
Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it, right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Two outs, runner at first. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. And that's in there for strike one. The 0 1. That one missing inside. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. 2 2 down. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Got him. Good job of damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Padres six and the Royals two. We head to the bottom of the fifth and to the play for Kansas City. Bobby Witt Jr. The third baseman. Bobby Witt Jr. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. Oh, the no home count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Next offering is down low. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just could catch up. And here it comes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One gone here. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and now played right the into catcher. the hands of the pitcher. Oh, Salvador Perez getting ready to hit. First offering and it just misses. Kicks and deals. Rip to short. Kim handles. The throw to first. And they get Perez for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air. 19. Let's the defense work Second behind him with man. another ground ball. My Good goal. execution. Two Massey. outs, base is empty. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Michael Massey. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. First offering misses the mark. The wind in the pitch. So two balls and no strikes. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Oh, that drilled him. Safe at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. They got a backdoor breaking ball. Really easy to give up on that pitch, but he stayed on it and shot it right back in the direction it was breaking from. Really nice job of letting it travel. Runner at first with two away. And now the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. The 1-0. That one missed. And the pitch. Swings and misses at one down below the zone. 
Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just gonna have to tip your cap on that pick. Next one misses. Full count now. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, a great back and forth, and that at bat. Now he had to play off some really close base pitches, base. and somehow, though, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And the first pitch misses for ball one. First and second, two down. And now it's even up. Well, on the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. Here's a one-to-one. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Swings and fouls one off. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Royals strand a pair. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Back here in Kansas City, and here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Leading off for San Diego, the catcher, Austin Nola. Hernandez back to work. Ball one. Just missed. Out to short. Fires to first on the run. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Up next to the See an impressive jump the throw from field. the hole at Jose short. Let's see what Statcast has to say. Now he's just showing off out there. I mean, I don't know if fans realize how much arm strength you need to make that throw. This guy's got a rocket of an arm, and that was on full display right there. Just an awesome job. Jose Azokar. The next up for the Padres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1 0. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The one one. There's the strike. And now it's one and two. Place to right center base hit. So now back to the top of the order. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Now Pretty much a model it. swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Next to hit, ha -sung Kim. In there and it's on one. Offering is in for a strike. Oh, and two now. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away, and the runner stays where he is. One, two now. Ripped on a line. Taylor makes the catch. Two down.
the left fielder, number 10, Jurickson Profar. Jerickson Profar, the next up for the Padres, one for three. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two outs. Nope. Just missed. Throw to first, no, and he's there. back in standing. up in the home half of the inning. It's the Padres six and the Royals two. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. So up now for Kansas City. Brent Rooker. The left fielder. Brent Rooker. And the right hander back to work. And ball one. Action in the pen down there. Nabil Krizmat getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Garcia, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. The wide to kick the pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Gonna count one and two. One ball, two straight. And he deals. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those blue hits to get a knock sometimes. Water nope. in the box for the third time today as he takes that one off the plate. And a ground ball to first. Pitcher gets to the back for the out. The batter number eight. Good stop. Nicky Lopez. Two outs, bases empty. And next up for the Royals, Nicky Lopez. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. First offering misses badly for ball one. The 1 0. Late swing, foul to the left. Next offering is in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. And that is the inning. KC down in order. They still trail it here. It's six to two. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Manny Machado. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Manny. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And a pitch. Slider clips the zone. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Riding to the plate. On the ground at first. 
dives, but it kicks off his glove. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Up next for the Padres, the designated hitter, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury, the next up for the Padres. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Activity in the Kansas City bullpen. Luke Weaver appears to be getting loose. Next offering misses, and the count is one and one. Right-hander kicks deals, and that one pulled foul. And a one-two. And the one-two misses to even the count. Here's the 2 2. And foul ball. Next pitch in the dirt. And now 3 and 2. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Line drive, base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Batting, that ball was drilled base. 106 off the bat, and that's the kind yeah. of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. Josh Bell at the plate now. And yeah, the first yeah, offering is not close. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Runner on the goal. Next offering is fouled back. Inside and hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, biggest concern other than injury after a moment like that is just how the pitcher will respond. You know, sometimes a guy will lose confidence in a pitch when he's hit somebody. Hard ground ball, base knock. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. The pitch. And there's a the ball. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The 2-1. On the inside corner for a strike. And the righty deals. And misses inside. Three two now. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And it's caught. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly, and the lead is up to five. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this now is a high leverage Kevin situation. Austin. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if you can get this next out. 
Luke Weaver gets the call from the pen. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. So first and second with two outs. And now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Nola. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Lined in the left center. Base hit. Bell coming home. He will score. It's 8 2. Picks himself up in RBI. A lot of hitters tell themselves, the line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Luke Just keep that approach simple. And it. right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Taylor settles underneath it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Padres eight and the Royals two. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound. Number 21. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, bottom of the seventh. Now it's the DH and Jay Melendez. The designated hitter. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Get that first hit at the big league level. The wind of the pitch. Well struck right field. Gone! Oh! And Jay Melendez with his first major league home run. A special moment in his young career, and who knows, maybe that will open the floodgates for him. Yeah, getting that out of the way could be a big confidence booster. It feels like a huge weight just been taken off the bat. You can go up there with a lot less pressure on you now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets hot for a little while. What do you remember about your first career homer, Chris? Well, I remember it was off of Omar Oliveras, and, you know, being there in Los Angeles against the Angels, just a tremendous day, great ballpark, and a special moment for sure. And to the play for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. The third baseman, number seven. Bobby. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Right handed reliever. And that's a base hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. That pretty much split the zone down 13. the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. <laughs> Next is the Royals catcher, Salvador Perez. Let's get something going. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and fires. Yeah, that's outside. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. pitch oh now this is blasted way back there on its way gone 
Salvador Perez leads the yard. His first homer of the year, and they slice into the lead. It's 8-5. on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Tim Hill. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Just stuck in the extremes when everyone else seems to be in the corner of your enemies. Sometimes it's just time to stand up alone and face your destiny. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Michael Massey. The batter, the second baseman, Michael Massey. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now the lefty, that oh, one misses. And that's ball two. Next pitch is outside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Ball can be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. In for a strike, now three and one. And the three one. Foul ball there. Left hand hitter waits. And there's ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Michael A. Taylor will hit next. Now moves to first, and he dives back in safely. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. The pitch. And that's through there for a strike. Quickly down 0 2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Lifted in the air, right center field. Dives and he can't hang on. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Good job of just now putting that. the ball in play first with two strikes. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. Now, Nick Prado in there for strike one. No outs, runners at first and second. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. The tying run at the plate. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Next pitch is outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That's hard hit in the line. Can't get there. Base hit. Massey around third. 
He scores, and they cut the lead to two. These guys are relentless. Just till the bell sounds, and they are going to keep coming at you, trying to get you into the corner and knock you out. Now the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Now batting, the left fielder, Brent Rooker. This one popped up, foul ground first base side. Makes the catch, and there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there, and I'm telling now you, batter. he is going to be frustrated right with himself until his next at bat. Water. Out of the bullpen Ladies for the Padres, Nabil Prismat. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 74, Nabil Prismat. Drew Waters stands in. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground in the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. And the right hander deals. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Kim. One. And that's quick work out of the pen. One batter, two outs, inning over. Back here at the ballpark, and the batter will be the shortstop, Hassan Kim. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Out to short, Lopez collects, whips it to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting, left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Jerickson Profar. First offering misses the mark. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Here comes a pitch. And now two and nothing. Profar gets a piece there. The pitch. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Righty delivers. This one popped up. He can't squeeze it, and it drops in foul. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Right through there, got him. Two away. Well, I think that was just a case of a hitter quitting on a pitch. He was looking fastball and didn't see it out of the hand and just left the bat on his shoulder. That was a changeup right over the plate. Probably not the location he was looking for, but the change of speeds is what fooled him, and he got the out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Manny Machado now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And now the count is even. And that's down and away. Well, you get to this part of the order, 
Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. The next pitch misses. Three and one. Righty to the plate. This to third. Gathers and throws to first. Machado out of the play. And that is that. Three up, three down for San Diego. They lead at 8 6. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Nicky Lopez. For the Royals. The shortstop, Nicky. The wind of the pitch. Lopez. And that one ripped to left. Falls it in for the out. The batter, number one, designated hitter. A new arm into the game, the righty, number 75. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Number 75, Robert Suarez. So the Royals batting order turns over. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. And first offering is fouled off. Let's go one more time, baby. Left hand batter waits. And that one a little bit high. Bullpen activity starting up now. Josh Hader, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Kicks and deals. So now one and two. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Go. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. That fires up the home crowd. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they're chipping away. It's 8 7. Velocity and changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. One down. So up now for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. Third baseman, number seven. Bobby. And that's in there for strike one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. The belt and finals. Swing and a pop up. Nola under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. Now batting. Catcher. Salvador. Perez. And next up for the Royals, Salvador Perez. On the ground to third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Here's the one. Fastball almost got him there. Third out. The Royals get one back on this solo homer. And this is now an 8-7 ball game. Back here in Kansas City, all set for the start of the inning. Now the DH for the Padres, Brandon Drury. Brandon Weaver back to work. 
There's the strike up on. Going one. Late the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. And the pitch. The other way. And there's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. All over that one right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Stepping in for San Diego, Josh Bell. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one to go. And he deals. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Water makes the play, and there's one down. Now batting, right here, Will Mario. Will Myers now. There and it's on one. The 0 1 is outside and it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. And downstairs. And here it comes. He's going. Rudder takes off. Bounce to the left side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Now that second baseman, Jay Cronenworth. First and second, one out. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. And a 1-1. Rolled slowly to first. Prado. And he takes it himself for the out. The battle. The catcher. Austin Nola. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Austin Nola. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First offering, and it just misses. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. Next pitch misses inside, and now 2 and 0. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Foul ball makes the count two and one. Two on, two outs. And another ball. I got three one. Three ball, one strike. And a pitch. There's a strike. Three ball, two strikes. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Now Mistake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. Two outs, bases full. Jose Azokar, the next up for the Padres. In there for strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Two outs, bases are full. The next offering misses. One and one. Foul ball. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. And a pitch. And a pop up right side foul territory. Makes a nice running catch. And that will end the inning. Huge opportunity missed there. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Padres eight. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound, and he'll work on holding this lead. Well, I think that what makes him so tough against left-handers is he hides the ball for a long time. And from that same side, harder for you to determine which part of the plate it's going to end up on. Last chance for the home team. Here's the second baseman, Michael Madsen. So important to stay within baseman. yourself, especially for Michael. this hitter. Not known to be a power guy or a home run hitter. He needs to set the table by getting on with a walk or a base hit. There's the strike. He's been great in this one. Eye hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. Looking to get the tying run on base to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Of center field, number two, Michael A. Taylor. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Home team down a run. And the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering upstairs. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. The pitch. Now three and oh. I just feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. A one run lead in the last half of inning number nine. And a 3 0 finds his own. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. The batter. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next one is off the plate, and the count is 2 and 0. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Hater throw over, and he's back standing.
And now the lefty, Taylor Runs. Pitch in for a strike. He's safe in second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets in the scoring position. Fought off foul. Bottom of the ninth, down a run and tying run on second base. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Out on the drop third strike, two gone. The batter, the left fielder, Brent Rooker. Big spot here, bottom of the ninth, down to their final out. Here's the left fielder, Brent Rooker, trying to deliver as the hero. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Owen, oh, two as he waves at that one. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Next one misses. Now one and two. is just one strike away and that one off the outside edge that turns out to be a really good take right there but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder just one strike away stays alive runner at second two down see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in want to try to tie him up that's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings and a swing and a miss and that ends the ball game the tying run left stranded at second well, his first save of the season is in the books, and that was a nice job of him coming in the game and closing it out. He's off and running now. And a final, 8-7. to seven. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. We'll talk to you soon. San Diego Padres, eight runs on 15 hits, no errors, they left 10 men on base. For Kansas City, seven runs on 14 hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.